Hey, welcome to So Awkward. I'm Jester. And I'm Don. And we've got more beef jerky. And barbecue sauce. And barbecue sauce. But so we you... have nothing to dip into the barbecue sauce. Okay. We have nature's utensils. <laughs> So awkward. This is Freddy Krueger saying hi. So you know me, and anybody who's watched the show knows two of my favorite things are beef jerky and professional wrestling. And I finally can combine the two because I got some of Jr. Good old Jr. Jim Ross's beef jerky and barbecue sauce. Now, do you know who Jim Ross is? Uh, this guy on the bag. Yeah, he's the guy in the bag. There's no prima donnas in this locker room. Is he a cowboy? He is a cowboy. Yeah, I believe he's from Oklahoma. He's an Okie. Made in Oklahoma. Yep. He is, he has been like the voice of WWE for many years. Most of my childhood. He doesn't work for them anymore, but he, uh, and apparently he is a barbecue guy. I remember when I was a kid, my mother bought me his cookbook, which I am not. I don't believe it was all his recipes. Maybe it wasn't, none of it was his recipes. I don't know, but I just remember it was some recipes by him, I believe, and some recipes by wrestlers. Whether they actually wrote the recipes, I have no idea. All I remember is Triple H's swordfish recipe. That's all I remember making because I love swordfish. Swordfish? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Well, as far as for the recipes in the cookbook, I believe all the WWF superstars have recipes in the cookbook. Of course, The Rock has uh, more than one. He's got the people's pancakes, he's got chocolate chip cookies, and of course he's got smackaroni salad. But anyway, I think he's better known for his barbecue sauce than his beef jerky, but I've been meaning to try his barbecue sauce for a long time. And then, so when I went to the website and I saw beef jerky, I was like, well, I gotta buy beef jerky. Because we're the jerky people. We're the jerky people. Yeah. These are resealable bags. They are resealable bags. He's already ahead of the game. Yep. So we've got <clears throat> JR's Championship Original Beef Jerky. I have JR's Triple Threat Teriyaki Beef Jerky. And JR's Pepper Power Slam Beef Jerky. Made in Oklahoma, gluten free. Distributed by JR's Family Barbecue. Norman, Oklahoma. Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! It's going to WrestleMania! What should we start with? I guess the original. Okay. He's a, he's a Hall of Famer. He's in the WWE Hall of Fame for his broadcasting career. He's, he's one of the greatest overall sports commentators. Not even just wrestling. He's great. Mmm. Smells like beef jerky. I think this is great. Yeah. It's chewy. It's it's the classic beef jerky uh, texture. It's got a great flavor. Mm-hmm. There's no bells or whistles here. This is just a, a deep, smoky beef flavor. Which is a good thing, if I'm being unclear. It tastes like beef jerky. It tastes like really good beef jerky. It's really good. Yeah. JR. Good old JR. It is chewy. I mean, that's beef jerky as want to be, but it, it kind of melts in your mouth a little bit. Really good flavor. Really good flavor. Now what? Your teriyaki. Tear into it. Because it's teriyaki? Yeah. I bet you've heard of a, another um, WWE commentator. Because he was a former governor of yours. Jackie the Body Ventura. Uh huh. How old were you when he was governor? I don't know. Did your parents vote for him? Mm hmm. Mmm. 
subtle. I like this one. I don't think I've ever said that about a teriyaki one we've had. No, you don't like sweet. Mm-mm. It's just not sweet. I mean, it's got, it's got a teriyaki flavor, but it's, it's not, because some of them. It's not are, like candy. Yeah, some of them taste like candy. I think this one's more tender. No, I like this a lot. This is really good. Ingredients, beef, soy sauce, water, soybean, salt, sugar, brown sugar, onion, garlic, spices. All natural ingredients. All right, JR's Pepper Power Slam. Don't you look at me with that smug look. You make me sick. A man of integrity. I want to smack you. I, I see why you kept going back. <laughs> this is the chewiest of all. This is the driest. I can taste the pepper. Pepper Power Slam. This one's my least favorite, but it's still pretty good beef jerky. This uh, basically just tastes like pepper. It tastes like pepper. I think it's Pepper Power Slam. Mm -hmm. There's a dog here that really wants it. Oh, mother of God! Someone tell me this is not happening! It's growing on me. I like it. Yeah. None of it is spicy. Mm -mm. Which I'm not saying that is a good thing or a bad thing, but we, because we do the beef jerky reviews a lot, they tend to be either too sweet or too spicy. Whereas what I really want is smoky. To me, that's what beef jerky is. Yeah. This is a classic beef jerky. Made in Oklahoma. This is all really good. I like to think it was made by hand by JR. I don't know if it was. <laughs> if it wasn't, don't shatter my illusion. You know, I just think of him stirring a big pot of beef jerky. Is that how you make <laughs> is beef jerky? Is that how you make beef jerky? I don't know. Should we try this barbecue sauce? Let's try it. There was a variety of flavors of barbecue sauce as well. But it says shake well. Just shake it. Is that shaking well? Shake it off. Should we? All right. Do I, I guess I'm just. <laughs> I mean, I wish I had some chicken nuggets or something, or some ribs. <laughs> this is weird. Oh, that's good. That's good barbecue sauce. <laughs> It's a little bit gross to me. <laughs> this is what I do. What do this you want? Like, like a, this is some like silverware? When, no. It's, it's like when you have a, a plate and it has like ketchup or something on it and you get your finger in it. It's like it's icky. It sounds good to me. No. There are, he also had one flavor that was like spiced ketchup or some kind of flavored ketchup which sounded really good too. This is good. When I was a kid my favorite barbecue sauce that I always bought was Bullseye. Mm. This was very reminiscent of Bullseye. Okay, finger buy, in there. <laughs> the guy buys Sweet Baby Ray's. Sweet Baby Ray's is really good. This is very smoky which I like. This is this is a really good barbecue sauce. I didn't do a very good job. I was a I've made barbecue sauce. It's it's hard work. It's not hard work. Really you just have to could do it. Yeah. See. We need some chicken nuggets. Yeah, we should have barbecue for dinner. If you go to McDonald's, you have chicken nuggets. This is too good. You can't. This, it's too good for McDonald's. Although I think you could. Put, I'll put this on. I'm gonna put this on my breakfast cereal. Oh, okay. Put this on my Cheerios. Okay, so that's Jr's. Um, Jerky and barbecue sauce. It's all really good stuff. Yeah. Stone cold! Stone cold! What if we put barbecue sauce on the beef jerky? Let's do it.
Yeah. <laughs> Did we just invent that? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> mm. Right? Yeah. Good call. So yeah, get yourself to um, www.jrsbarbecue.com. That's a good combo. Also, check out uh, JR's podcast, The Ross Report. It's one of my favorite wrestling podcasts. He's, he's really interesting and funny. He always has good guests. Uh, and thanks, Astig, for these t-shirts. Hey. Ask our, our friends at Astig Beef Jerky sent us some shirts. And That's some, some beef jerky. Yeah. Very cool. Super cool. Emerald Lagasse, Betty Crocker, the WWF cookbook laying the smack down on all their candy. If you smell what the rock is cooking. <laughs> And thank you, Daniel Bryan. What am I doing? You're doing the Daniel Bryan yes chant. Because he just retired. <laughs>